tuna tartare with a chilli jam dressing served with crispy wontons and an avocado puree. Ooh, it sounds quite complicated, but it actually is not at all. We need to start our dressing because I do need to cook it and allow it to cool down. So in a small pot, and I found the cutest little one, I'll add some ginger. And you need about a teaspoon or so of freshly grated ginger. So grate that in along with one clove of garlic. Again, finely grating this because I want this to be quite a fine dressing. I don't want big chunks in it. And some chilli jam. Now, I love this chilli jam. It's got tomato paste through it, chilli, sugar, all the things you need for a perfect chilli jam. It's got a bit of a kick to it too. So I'll need about a teaspoon of that. Some sesame oil, a drizzle of that. Oh, about a teaspoon. And to balance the whole dressing out, some caster sugar and some black vinegar. Black vinegar is going to give this a wonderful, deep, rich flavour. So we'll just give that a swirl. And then onto the heat. And we just want to warm this up and just cook it for about three to four minutes. So I'll keep an eye on that while we get on to our avocado. Now, two ingredients in this and you need a nice, ripe avocado. I'll just add half of this one. I always love just cutting the avocado and the big reveal. Oh, and look at that, just perfect. This is going to bring a nice creamy component to this recipe. So we're just going to cut it into cubes and then grab a big spoon. We pop this into a bowl or a jug and we're going to blend this along with the zest of half a lime. I never like wasting the lime zest, you know, limes are not cheap. So I want to use as much as possible from this gorgeous citrus. And the juice. So a good squeeze of that in with our avocado. Oh, so juicy. Very nice. Now before I blend this, I can smell that dressing. I know it's ready. We're going to turn the heat off. Look at that. Mm. Fantastic. And just let that sit there. Okay, back to our avocado puree. So just with a stick blender, we'll blend this until it's smooth. Okay, creamy component of this recipe is done. Look at that vibrant green colour. Just give that a tap and we'll pop that to one side. And now for the crispy element of this dish, I've got some wonton wrappers here and I've preheated some oil. So this is at 180 degrees. We want to carefully lower the wonton wrappers in. You'll see that they curl up and start to blister. And once they go a golden brown colour, you know that they're ready. So just turn them in that oil. Aren't they just so pretty? It's almost like they're dancing in the oil. Fantastic. Now I've got a plate with some paper towel on it because we do want to take off the excess oil and this happens really fast. See how they're changing colour now? Drain excess off and then onto the paper towel. And you can make these ahead of time. I sometimes make this the day before so it's just one step out of the way. This is a really great entree if you've got some people coming over. All right, we'll pop that to one side. Now to mix in with our tuna tartare, some cucumber. And I'm just going to finely slice that cucumber. I want everything to be quite small in size. Take that big bit off there. And then just into a nice little dice. I'll also dice my tuna the same size as the cucumber and the spring onion. So every mouthful you have, you get a little of everything into a large bowl some spring onions and just the light green and white part, finely slicing this too. And we want about, oh, I'd say a tablespoon. I love that mild onion flavour that you get from the spring onions. You could also add some French shallot to this too if you like. Okay. And the tuna, I'll just grab a longer style knife and we're just going to cut that really carefully. This is such a quality piece of fish and you don't need much of this to complete the whole dish. So this is a couple of hundred grams. So we'll just start with two medallions and then we'll finally slice it. And take your time doing this to get those perfect little squares. Okay, 
today I have lovingly diced the tuna and this can go into the same bowl as the cucumbers and spring onions and just be really gentle with it because we want to keep those cubes intact and we can dress this with our sweet chilli reduction over here. It smells so good. But I want to loosen it up with some really good quality extra virgin olive oil. So it's a little bit of a fusion style dish. We want about a tablespoon of that. And I do leave it to the end because I want to taste the flavours of the extra virgin olive oil. We'll just give that a quick mix. And you don't want to be adding this dressing when it's hot, so please allow that to cool down completely. And now we'll dress it, so a drizzle over the top. And I like to just add half of it now, give it a mix, and we'll taste it and see if it needs some more. You don't want it to be too overpowering. You want the zing of that black vinegar. You want to taste the chilli jam in it and all the flavours that go into that paste. Just want it to be nicely balanced. And I love how glossy it becomes when you mix that through. We can definitely add a little bit more of that chilli jam dressing. And one thing I haven't added is a good pinch of salt. It needs the salt, just so all of those flavours come out. One last fold. OK, let's plate up. So one crispy wonton on the plate. Look how blistered and golden it is. It almost looks like crispy pork crackling, but it's not. It's a wonton. And I'll add some of our really creamy avocado. We want about a tablespoon. Pop that in the centre, spread that out. We'll add a generous spoonful of our tuna on top. and. The last time I made this, I made it for a catering job and it was a little canapé. So this is just slightly bigger than a canapé and this tuna is delicious as is just on some rice if you want to make it into a main dish. Final little touches, some toasted sesame seeds over the top. That is such a flavour bomb right there with the tuna and the sweet chilli jam. I love it. And let's not even forget about the textures there. Smooth creaminess from the avocado, lovely little gems of the tuna, crispy wontons. You'll love it.